The shooting in Santa Monica is so horrendous and horrible that it uh, just shows the mind of a, a depraved, um, sick and evil person. And so um, the question is, they knew, the, the police know who is the uh, suspect, but not his motives. Well, from his um, modus operandi and uh, his victims, you could have a clue as to what is going on here. Now, what we know is that he had spent about two, uh, I have two years in mental institution, or two years ago he was in mental institution, something like that. And his parents are divorced, and so his father and his brother, he killed first. He said he was on fire and then went out to shoot him in place. Now, it don't seem as though he attempted to shoot his mom. Um, I'm assuming that uh, in growing up, they must have discovered that he didn't have all his marbles together and he didn't have the ability like his other brother. And so they start in what he would consider discriminating, they give him the other one opportunities and, and they would spend money on him to go forward while they're just keeping this one to maintain which is what you do when you have these kind of folks. This is how folks from overseas do. You don't spend equally on these people because, of course, one isn't going anywhere. He's going to be home forever. Um, and perhaps uh, his father used to bring it on to him, you know, you're, you're done, you're done, so you're going nowhere. You know, mothers, uh, you know, my mother that loved me, I'm so happy, my mother that loved me, you know. <laughs> That's the beauty of the women. They love anything they make, you know, and so on. And, uh, and that's probably why he speared her. Um, in this case, of course, we saw where uh, the guy in New Town, you know, killed his mom first and, and then, you know, went out and shoot up the place. Yeah, and so my continuing theme is that when people have a uh, compromised mental constitution, it's very easy for them to get possessed by demons because of how naive they are. Of course, the parents would want to introduce them to Halloween first. They would tell them some nice shows to watch, like Harry Potter and The Wizard of Oz and uh, Cinderella and all these little guru light shows. Uh, although Harry Potter seems to be advanced, but some parents don't see it in the evil and they think it's cool. Um, and, and there are a variety of other shows on TV where they're showing magic and all this kind of stuff. They, these kids just gravitate in towards those. And then he would have gone on to do uh, playing with the Ouija board and the psychics and the palm reading and uh, Halloween, um, you know, it's uh, uh, astrology and um, all the voodoo that you could find. They're going to be encouraged to go. In fact, what happens is that, and, and, and you would find, I've never read any book on evil. I don't watch horror shows, I don't watch Stephen King read his books, I don't watch his movies. As long as I know this person has that kind of uh, propensity to produce these uh, uh, bizarre and, and macabre and evil shows and books, I, I, I stay away from them. Because when you start reading one, it builds up a curiosity and they tend to refer to the next and to the next and then all they're doing is reading about this evil. And reading about all the evil won't help you to do the right. What you do is study the right and then you'll discover evil as they come along. And so, um, all the, his mental uh, capacity is compromised in which probably his conscience is seared and is not functioning right. Then the devil tells him to go on and take care of business. So he got over a hundred shots. He had, it looks like two assault rifles. The AR-15 was one, I understand. And I uh, shot his parents, for his parent, uh, his father and his brother. And then, of course, he went on to, uh, you know, take sacrifices for Satan. Because that's what Satan wants. Uh, he doesn't want only the person to commit suicide. If the person could uh, take out a whole bunch of people, and um, especially if they were um, his people, and, and he guide them to his people to kill them, then, you know, he's reaping souls that would help him in hell because as one preacher would put it um, a whole bunch of them in hell is going to make it a little easier for those in there because the fire is going to burn up all these folks and so each person will be getting less heat that's just to uh, you know, persuade people to stay away from Satan or whatever just trying to ease himself up but in actual fact I don't think that's the case uh, it's going to be fire that everybody's going to you know, be this, you know, sort of uh, disintegrate and disappear no more to see her again and they won't be burning forever, as the fire says, the Bible says, uh, in the everlasting fire. It just means as long as material and matter is there to be combusted, the fire is going to continue. But as soon as all that is consumed, the fire is going out, because here where the fire is going to happen, here is where we're going to live, people who are redeemed from this life, um, and so on. Yeah, and so, um, you know, parents got to watch it. 
uh, even a normal person, say like me, I think I'm normal, and I think I'm smart, and so on. I'm trying to, you know, come up to be among the smartest in the world. Um, if I were to start getting into these evil books and psychics and so on, man, I'll develop some kind of one of these mental, these um, psychologists like to, um, you know, take you in and, and, and make that money on you for, and, and give you some bogus uh, games. Yeah. Um, so you don't play with it, whether you, you have mental problems or you're normal. Uh, these mentally challenged people, you need to be watching them, you need to be guiding them. And uh, you see, my continuing theme is that naive parents has introduced the kids to Satan. And uh, you know, and these Halloween and all these shows, if they were to give these same compromised mentally people to God, uh, he could probably heal whatever it is. And sometimes they might not have a real physical mental problem you know the brain isn't at fault but faulty thinking and all those things you know and uh, and bad habits and bad environment could create as it were like these guys that walk down the street they sure know the butt the pants down to the I mean that seems to be a person that is mentally ill uh, and many of them might not be mentally ill but they will perceive be perceived as such and if they continue doing more and more of these things that mentally ill people are doing then it's probable that in their minds there's going to be developing something which uh, you know people are going to want to think they have one of these problems and going to recommend a treatment that a person who had it originally should be treated the same way you know so you got to watch it and uh, keep your kids away from these guns and these killings and the evil that you know is kind of you know uh, and lastly some people like to keep appointments and they're very disciplined a lot of times you ride down the road in your car and somebody gives you a bad drive or somebody cutting out in front you give somebody a break because sometimes um, you know God is trying to hold you back from getting to an appointment and um, you're going to be rushing people and going on and you want to get ahead to speed and just take your time you know see things happening in front and just wave you go hello man have a good day because uh, um, those who might have been shot at the school who knows maybe they were having problems in getting to school that morning especially if they're of God's children and um, or whatever and God's trying to protect them but they, they're insisting that they must be there must be on time and it must be right wherever this guy came in and shot them up so you just gotta work with your premonitions and your uh, you know as life comes take it and just move on don't be too um, preoccupied and probably too predictable it seems